This is the new A15, one of the newest phones released from New Mobile, and I'm here to tell you all about it. This phone packs a ton of features and retails for only $110. Let's see how good a phone that cheap can be. First, let's go over what's in the box. You of course get the new A15 with a screen protector pre-applied. You also get a power brick. USB-C cable. Some stickers and a case. Now this phone is big. With a 6.5 inch screen, this is definitely a two-handed phone. It's made of plastic and metal and feels really nice in the hand. Even though it's big, it's not too heavy and has a nice weight to it. It's also curved on the sides, which just adds to the comfort of using it. It comes in two colors. The one I have is a deep purple and I really like the look of it. But you can also get it in pure white. The screen is 720p, it's an LCD, and can run up to 90 hertz, and it looks great in my opinion. Colors are rich and it gets plenty bright for outdoor use. It's got my favorite kind of fingerprint sensor, which is one that doubles as a power button. It works fast and reliably. It's running the latest version of Android out of the box, Android 13. And this is about as close to stock Android as you can get. The only major difference I've found is something called DuraSpeed, which is enabled by default and it will prohibit apps from running in the background. If you're having trouble with notifications, make sure you turn on the app you want in the DuraSpeed options under the phone settings, and this will allow the app to run in the background and give you notifications. Now let's talk about performance. This phone's powered by a MediaTek Helio G36 processor. This phone is not the most powerful phone out there, but honestly, for day-to-day -day use of web browsing, social media, Google Maps, and taking pictures, it works really well, especially at this price point. I even tried gaming and the games I ran played great at low settings. You get four gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of onboard storage, and you can also add an SD card up to one terabyte. And that same SD card tray is a spot for two SIM cards. This phone is unlocked and can be used on GSIM carriers without issue. I used it for my testing on T-Mobile and it works great. There's no 5G on this phone, unfortunately, but that's okay. Battery life is excellent. With a 4180 mAh battery, I had a hard time getting this phone below 50%. Now there are a couple of things that are a bit of a bummer. For one, this phone only supports 480p on some streaming apps, so you can't take full advantage of the nice screen on this phone. This is due to a DRM license issue. Apps like Netflix and Amazon require L1 Widevine DRM, and this phone only has L3, so those apps won't run at full HD. Thankfully, Disney Plus and YouTube work great at 1080p and look really nice. Also, there's only one speaker on this phone. While the bottom firing speaker gets plenty loud, it sounds a bit lackluster, but it works great for notifications. Oh yeah. You get a lot of the sweetness from the honey and the cheese just counteracts it. I don't really taste any spiciness. Um, I didn't see any jalapenos actually. Yeah, I don't see. There's a headphone jack, which is excellent. And you can use that to listen to FM radio if you connect headphones which is always a great feature in my opinion. You can also use USB-C headphones or Bluetooth headphones so you have a variety of ways to get great sound from this phone. Now let's talk about the cameras. It's got a 50 megapixel primary shooter on the back along with a VGA sensor for helping with portraits and it even has AI built into the camera app that will optimize photos based on what it identifies as the subject. In good lighting the cameras take decent pictures And the phone even includes a night mode, 
which does a decent job of getting more out of low light pictures. Video recording is limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second. And here's a sample of that video quality. So while this phone isn't perfect at $110, there isn't much to complain about. Sure, it isn't the fastest phone and the cameras are pretty average, but for the price, this phone is an excellent value. Thanks to New Mobile for sending this phone over for review, and thank you all for watching. You just got CE Tech. Have a great day.